last game. He was having a grand old time. Uh, his Beastmaster is even better. Absolutely. I want to see some extremely aggressive plays coming out from down bottom. Look to hide the two supports, try to get a first blood on one of the two that pops up right away with the first spin. Body block the camps, ward the camps. They've already got the sentry down. Good job. Make sure that these camps never respawn. Spartan's going to get a D ward. They're going to have to make sure that they can tension block the camps there. And they can do a decent job as long as they play this lane like perfectly. If you make play the lane in any way, if you make too many mistakes in the lane though, then your jug is splitting. Try experience, which is horrible, and your your supports are in the same position. So let's see. Oh, here we go. Steps up. Uh, nice. Should, should be a, a easy kill it. Oh, Even uh, stacking sort of the, the, the control there from kind, the CM and the Nyx, it didn't matter. Just one of them to be enough to provide the time for the Blade Fury to do the damage. Spartan is trying to get Fishman. He's not going to be able to get it all made with the Fairy Fire. All the cell. Fishman keeps himself alive. Hell yeah. Okay, there we all go. All right. Good That's, start out for that trial. Yeah. And again, we watched them block the camps too while they were playing on the side there. I saw Alex and... Uh, Alex and Fishman making sure that the camp does not respawn. Great job. And they're going to keep this drow pushed in a pretty difficult spot. If they can keep the lane equilibrium here, which they should be able to. The jug will be able to power tonight easily in this next wave. Mid actually was going pretty decent. Wish actually missed two raises, I think I saw, on the timber. And Malarina is prepared. He already has the stick early on. Now, level three for Shadow Fiend gets a lot harder for Timmy. Posing kill threat. Yeah. Quite constantly. I mean, in. And is the, the just the straight regen of the passive ever enough to, to sort of allow him to, to stay in lane or, or the raise damage is, just becomes too much far too quickly? It becomes too much far too quickly. You, I, and maybe you can do some fun with like raindrops and stuff like that, but even then the damage just, it starts to get way too much because you get constant stacks out. Shadow Fiend can force the lane out much harder than a timber stock can early because you get your bottle. Bottom. And then you can secure ruins. The there we go again. They're in onto focus this time. A TP from Stamana coming across as he's trying to help out. But focus, he's down again. This time they will get the trade kill onto Fish Man. See if they can uh, do anything more here. Of course, some hefty right clicks coming in from this shaman. He's got the shackle now. They gave him the mango. And they should be able to get Alex here. Oh. Very fire. Or should they? Trees. Very fire. And stealth. Oh, okay. he's getting some good duration out of it as well. Will finally get stopped. And oh, he's gone. Oh, that impetus. Next time. Doing enough there from the distance. As, next time. Yeah. So they've lost focus twice down here. I mean, having it three on three, do you pretty much keep it like this now as frame? I mean, is Skylock going to be all right in his own up top? Or does this mean Skylock's going to have a tricky time against the tide? It'll definitely be a trickier time, but he's already off to a very good start. Yeah. And he can still play the lane, just I mean, he can still just harm the lane. You're not under any threat if the Tyler doesn't skill gush. Which ATF is holding the skill point. If he gets the gush point, then he can start to pressure Skylark and hopefully we can do that. I think they have to keep this they have to keep a tri lane bottom to help focus. So they can secure their pullbacks, get that experience split. And, and really good job right now for three points. And, and dude in the mid lane. You know, 90 0 70 for two. This is much better than you expected from sort of a timber in this matchup. Yeah, I, I thought he'd be doing a bit worse for sure. I think it's, it's still going to continue to get harder. Okay. Now it's level five on the Shadow Fiend, and he's able to push the lane in. And he's going to guarantee the rune probably for himself too. Because the supports, I don't think they're going to be able to check this actually. So Maureen, just oh. go for the top rune, go for the RNG. And what do we got? Uh, nothing, nothing crazy, but at least... At least he gets it. Yeah, not not the SF getting their hands on it. His wish was uh, was very low on the manor, and of course empty bottles. So pretty big for... for for ATF that, I'm sorry, no, for Marine that the RNG was in his favor. Oh, that's, I mean, that's very nice. Now he doesn't yeah. get pressured at all. Dying he can actually stay in the lane, and this is actually going to be a pretty even Denied. matchup now, all things, you know, all these things considered. Decent. And bottom, straight 3v3, and we're just watching it. Spartan looking for a particular creep where he feels like he can actually make the move, and he does find one. He finds himself at the Mud Golem. Let's see if he can set up for a kill. Well, he's got to be a little cautious. I mean, if they go on him, Crystalis inbound. That's the opener, Crystalis trying to come across. Lock him down with the shackles. Some good damage from Focus to start things off. Crossbite to Manon. This time around, Creep Wave not really able to pull 
it together to get themselves a kill straight up. Oh, I say that. The crit's there for Crystalline. Is able to come back and get the kill. He's got the healing ball forward. Keeping it in a distance. They'll send the Mug Golem in to take it down, but focus is gone. They, they're chasing off the spot in the Mug Golem. Holding back the chase from Christmas actually also cancels the salve that was just popped on him. That's a little unfortunate there, but still kill-wise, they're getting the action. Mid setups there from Wish, he needs one more raise to hit this. The three stacks already up on Marine, and that'll do it. Lands the last one, Wish able to, to finally get a kill in this matchup. Great dance they did down bottom too, Creep Waves, versus this triple range lane. You know, if they don't get the instant go, they have to do these nice quick little resets and they do decently yeah so it's able to get this very Daya's clutch healing ward on the high ground a couple seconds and these parry fires coming into play in these hag very nicely done and top we see that tide is winning that matchup he has the gush level too so he's getting a couple extra boar kills for himself and slowing down skylark significantly this time around wish will find himself the haste of command and he's actually got the catch on to alex an easy kill granted to, to wish that Oh, Skylark got his courier. It's like with the boar. Got tied under his boots and a clarity or something, it looks like. I'll hurt. And Skylark is still able to get a decent amount of maximizing. He's actually started to pull the wave. He can't actually lane straight up versus the tide hunter as mid. Haste on wish. Bottling up. Oh, Maureen. Maureen in trouble. If a few more raises hit, one more will do the job. Is that a wish? Banda, though? He's, He's, the He's bottling up. Attack. <laughs> 10 mana off. Raindrop, text him for a second, and the raise will come. Oh, <laughs> there we go. He was trying to see if he could get away without popping the raise. It's, uh, of course, better to play it safe. As it, you know, with these sort of kills, well, same time, bottom focus. Bottom, they've got the setup. They're in onto him. Focus hasn't got any backup. Nice. Another death on the safe lane drow as creep wave do work. continue to, to really exercise the strength that they have here with this tri lane. And I think and ATF gets a Ravage kill top on yeah. the Beastmaster too in the river. Where the whole play Radiant's was happening when they were chasing the Timber. I mean, Wish is, is definitely going to have to do quite a lot this game. Uh, but he, he's going to hit the, the fast timers to do it. These three kills, you know, we're, we're going to see pretty much an eight minute boost of travel on the, the SF. So very good timing there from him. Radiant's and they actually, the Beastmaster is, is keeping attack. bottom to defend. They actually surround the TP and he has to cancel. This tower is very likely to just drop now to the Street Wave push. And ATF, he's fully enabled. He has phase boots when his courier does respawn. He's going to be really strong turning up into all these fights. Ravage will be on cooldown, but he's going to be Radiant's a pretty big beast for them to actually focus down as. Wow, this, this whole tri lane is shut down so hard. Creep wave's aggression. Yeah, the, the, the way that they've lane this is. Couldn't be any better. They, they've managed to do exactly what they needed to with the setups on the side lanes. Sure, the mid lane's not been great, but it, it's at least it's not like. You know, Marine got completely zoned attack. out. You know, sure he's behind, but he, he's not out of it. He's still he's still ahead of Skylark and and of course Focus in, in, in regards to farm. Yeah, and he can still he can still threaten heroes who do show up. As we see Spartan, he tries to show versus this level seven Timber. He's just dead. Oh, right. and Marine's game getting even better. Top lane, they're trying to get in for the setup. Put the old right, yes, tanky, but not tanky enough to. To withstand the magical burst from these raises as wish. Continuing to, to do his best to, to really use this power that he was able to build up in the mid lane to, to just keep this game on hold here for Brain and make sure that they don't suffer he's anymore on the up. side lanes. He's so fast to move from lane to lane because of these boss. Maureen has to be careful not to get caught by disable. He will die. And this, these bots will always enable him to make plays with the Beastmaster. It's like the, it's the more standard build now on these uh, Shadow Fiends lately, but. It's going to be a really nice one this game for him to play around the map. 2k lead, creep wave, continued playing aggressively down here. I actually want to see Crystalis try to find the Shadow Fiend with the TM and the Nyx. An Omni Slash and a stun, it's, it's really easy kills on the Shadow Fiend early on. If they can ever find That's the true. opportunity. Yeah, it, 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 yeah the, this window before he has his next time after bot stun, absolutely top. Uh, ATF, he's done it again. Another rabbit kill. He's able to pop Skylark Wish. 
We'll be able to get the raises down off to Alex, but here's the move you talked about. Chris Bullish coming in with the Blade Fury. They've killed off Wish. A huge kill to be found. On these things, the bounces are perfect. It bounces to the creatures for the ones, but then goes straight back over to Wolf's Demand to get the kill. Focus is trying to get Crystalis, but the Frostbow level Fisher holds him back. Focus will be able to take down Fishman there with the multi shot, but now Marie is chasing him down. Has he got enough first? Not quite. Focus will live. He now turns him with the back of a Skyline and Spartan. They're looking towards Maureen, but he's too tanky with the three points in reactive armor. Maureen's oh, able to get away. That as tribute. I still some, some big, big stuff, and that kill on the SF, slowing down his momentum. Instantly, though, off the back of the respawn, he's making moves down towards Maureen. So what Maureen can do, he's got the chain, he has got a TP if he wants to chance in the trees, he's gonna go for it. Can they find him? They can't! They can't quite get him there. The raise, the, the close range one must have still been on cooldown as yeah, Wish was not able to get it in time. Nice TP. I, just, just great aggressive moves coming out. And they haven't they haven't had to move the Tidehunter yet. I mean, they, ATM they're just chilling in the top lane, killing, just getting two free kills for himself. Yeah. And they I, do get, I think, all four bounty runes afterwards, too. I think, you know, we're seeing why sort of a... Against what, what seemed Radiance right in the draft, Tide. they just threw out the tide as the last pick because ATF uh, definitely having a great start with it. They're gonna look to try and catch him. Uh, he's speedy with the face boost though. Stamana can't quite close the gap on him. He's too fast. He's Radiant out of there. They can't get scanning. him. Well, I mean, Wish has this whole movement speed build with his bots, windlace plus faded bridge, but yeah, Shadow Shaman can't catch up. Alex, not something you'd expect and just from the jug pick versus what he's up against, but this aggro tri lane. Paying oh. dividends. And up. We'll see in the midst. Focus. He's just that's gone. Uh, he is having a rough game. In this sort of game, I mean, I, I've got to ask because you know this is something that I feel like you know shows sort of how rough the time he's having. Do you agree with? Lee? He's he's got the Midas queued up. Is is that really the only way this drought gets back into the game? Ooh. Radiant's top tower. Uh, he needs fallen. levels desperately. So you know what? I might actually just say yes, I sure. with this like, you He's think level 6 and yeah, 12 minute mark. Like, he just attack. needs to never show up. He can't show up anywhere for the next 8, 10 minutes or so, so why not? Go for Midas some way to try to catch up. Let your Shadow Fiend and Beastmaster so much try to salvage this disastrous early game. Uh, it, it, the only reason is really because he was in a tri lane, then I'm okay with it. Because yeah. I know I've seen, we, we've seen yeah. mid one do it, but he gets, you know, at the good timing because he got a, his lane secured. It's just he's so low level that I have to stay. I have to stay okay with it. Yeah, like, like the, yeah. Th this game, this feels very much like uh, this is the only way out for a sort of build. This doesn't seem like it would have been the plan for minute one for for focus, but and then the, this is the, the the way they've got to try and bring him back in. He's got to play this recovery game, and it's going to take a lot of time. And his levels do benefit, even though, of course, we're going to see the Shadow Fiend go for the spell damage build because that's just that's just always what we see for the SFs. He can help his aura, you know, his marksmanship in general. If he's standing next to Shadow Fiend, if he gets levels, it is very impactful. Sure. So definitely want him to at least have something. Skylark, Book 2, Summon Tor Top, ATF. He has Ravage again. Oh, but he set up around I was going to say, we've, we've had this story happen a few times. He's mad level 12 as well too. They can they can easily look to set up for this defense here. What level is the Shadow Fiend? Only level 10, so it's still level one Requiem. Dyer's they can't even go for some like a shackle into attack. a level two Requiem play onto him. It won't kill him. <laughs> yeah, we'll just see if they they do try and go on. It okay. seems hard. I mean, as you said, they've got so many of them Radiant's here. They're uh, gonna look attack. towards the tower. What if they just have a creep wave? They're bringing back up. They know it's yet strong. Ooh, oh my God. All right. I mean, he catches the two of them. Just the fit required there from ATF for the setup. They will lose the CM. But the Ravage allows them to at least get spun and just force the rest of them to run. They get him with the army stack onto Skylark. And the, ch the chase is going to continue. It's the man on the focus. They've just got to run. Wish he's out of there. They will manage to get away. I mean, that, you know, that that's an experienced tide there. He knows the exact limits of his ultimate, and, and he's able to catch the two on the very edge of it. It, it looks really bizarre the way he he's tossed it out, too. Like, they weren't going to get much out of it. But, I mean, tower, tower is held. Tower is yeah, they, the the they get the chase with the timber saw. Yeah. With level four timber chain. No, that was a big brain rabbit. Yeah, it was good. Focus is getting some time to at least try to farm and finish with Midas. So, still a ways away. 300, 400 more gold for him. It's gonna be tough for them to make any of these aggressive moves with Alex now always doing this and just stalking, giving all this information. And with ATF 
parking himself in front of towers. This is very likely for them to get two kills here with the rotation two from the bots. All right, and on Skylock. They are definitely making the moves this game. Oh, sorry. Alex, he's gonna be fine. As he's able to set up on system out and another kill for Maori. 17 to 9, 7k lead so far from Creep Wave. I mean, they, 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 they really have just come into this game too completely Radiant differently to, to what we saw happen in the first game. Pardon? Also watched up, another free kill. It's, it's really looking like they're just they're in, they're in their comfort zone. The, these here, Maureen's Timber, ATF's Tied. It, 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 it didn't feel sensible in the draft, but now just seeing what what these players are able to do on these heroes, it, it totally becomes understandable why they would throw them out in a, in, in a lineup like this. And I'm so glad to when I when I do see the more lower division, not the tier one teams, make the decision and make the move to do those aggro tri lanes. I feel like it's much more unexpected for the less experienced teams to do that compared to your your tier ones, your tier S's. As to ETF, they've got the level two requiem now. But they actually can't go for it. Yeah, he doesn't want to commit. He's worried with Crystalis coming over and he knows already. I wish even if he does drop the requiem, it's probably not gonna be quite a kill idea. But ATF's gonna have ravage pretty soon. He's dropped the requiem now. Roars and raises out onto Crystalis, so get the jug. They might be able to get ATF too. He's dropping really low. Spartan has max impetus. Got, he's like got Ravage and, and Maureen's around. They're gonna drop the ball down onto Maureen. Ravage being used to help Maureen and now they can turn. As the Requiem from the death will kill Maureen. Back up from Focus coming over. He's, he's trying it, but of course he's not got much to, to utilize at the moment on the drought. ATF stopped him for the TP out. He's done with this, Mr. Man, and he's able to come back in, put a stop to it. Alex creeping back in, gushed into Impale. They're closing the gap onto Focus. Focus, he's in so much trouble here. We'll push back the tide with the gust. Can Alex quite get him? He's going to have Impale and Mana Burn in a second. Focus drives, but they've found it. Another kill for ATF. Fishman standing his ground. Actually, spending time for ATF and Alex to come back over towards Skylark. They'll get another kill. As Brain, they really tried to push it there, bringing in focus, you know, cancelling the TP of ATF as ADF tried to get out of there. Uh, but that ended up to, to be a, a move that completely hurt them. ATF still being in the action and, and Creepwave being forced to continue the fight paid off so much better for Creepwave. They, they get focus and, and, and of course they get Skylark at the end of it. How the hell does focus show? Ten, I mean, 10,000 gold lead too. 10,000 experience lead at the 17 so, minute mark. They don't have the team fight either. To, they're more about like this pickoff now for Brame rather than grouping up and going for anything into this tide hunter. It's very problematic. 70 seconds though, no ravage. Let's see what they can make of it. Oh, Skylark! Uh, yeah, he was. I mean, he saw Alex. He, 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 he saw them, right? Or I, I guess he didn't. I guess not. Time maybe just wasn't quite ready for for Alex to come out of the fog. Pauses mess with your brain. Yeah, I mean they they really do. And that, he also fed. The, I think that's that might be the third or fourth book. He didn't feed both of the minions, but he fed one of the. He fed the blue ones, so 150 gold. I've seen a couple times the tide and the temp for getting them in the midst of the action. A decent chunk of gold going toward the side of creep wave. As yeah, the agonims is pretty much done now for ATF. Once you get. I mean, this. I, I think honestly, without that, this is going to be the the, the fastest that you'll kind of ever see on a tide, right? I mean, it, it's not really the item tides are always getting. Definitely not the one that they're rushing uh, or getting this early. He's just getting chased out. He's done. Not going to hit, but a gush connects in an easy kill for Moe to run down. This this draw is never going to be able to come back in the game. It it really feels like that tri lane broke broke the draw completely. Like focus is just. <laughs> completely struggled to find space after uh, what was such a brutal landing stage for him they, they can't do they can't do anything about the actual team fights Radiant now so ravage is back up they have to just look for pickoffs with this book three if they can try to get some information with the hawk but the hawk is so much sentry coverage now because of how rich these supports are on the side of creep wave there's a sentry and a ward in most of the locations so the hawk is flying over i've seen it get killed now twice also from the cm we've got this gush now for the minus armor yeah and, uh, can, uh, uh, and i like this as well from crystalis he did initially have the mouse computer part for manta but just going for the axe and, and honestly because his tide has has an, uh, has an axe as well the, the slashes the swift slashes you don't need to damage your mouse gun then you're way ready just going to be able to do so much uh, as long as you have the ability to jump in and, and get the hits off. Is under Absolutely. I mean, the, the drow can't do anything. The, 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 no, a gush and a swift flash, really he's point. probably dead. 
Wish being stalked by Alex. Wish is still 6-2-2, two two, but th it's such an uphill battle for him. He's gonna, he needs this BKB so badly, and he might just get found here, Alex. Oh. Get it, two speed. Skylock. They will find the roar, but he might actually oh, eat his minions and die. Oh my god, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Kaya. Kaya and the Kaya Nether Skull. Yeah. Without that, that would not have done it. He's, he's got the beautiful... Stacking spell out there from those Come two. On, and Spartan in the mid. Oh, pretty dead. It's an ambitious oh, out attempted by Spartan. Take you. As uh, 20 minutes, it's a full bloodstone thanks to that kill as well. Uh, for for Marine. I mean, all three of their cores are just popping off. Uh, whilst I'm just looking on at brain. focus. Fo yeah, both focus and spell like they're falling behind. Sit down. Oh, no. I don't know what oh. you can ever do with this route. He's going to bite us up in four seconds. But look, look, look at his, look at his Radiant items. These are, tower is under these are eight minute items, if you exclude the miter. But look at there's still like eight minute items. He doesn't do anything in the game. I, so, yeah, I mean, they just, they the really weren't. Everything. I mean, what, what could they have done better against the tri lane setup from, from Creep Wave in retrospect? Are you looking Radiant's to dodge it? Are you taking the drought straight over to the other half of the map? Or do you need to have uh, had your own tri lane set up in response before focus started two times? They probably should have just brought... They, it, it, they had to do one of the two. They had to move something. They had to have just either completely swapped the lane Clear. or just have the try lane there for sure. That, that's pretty much the only solution. There wasn't anything else that they could have done with their heroes. Spartan again. Go down. They never lapsed up the tower. They take a stop. Nothing they, 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 they just have to watch. Because now there's just nowhere for focus either to go with the catch up and farm. And anytime they are Radiant looking to Middle catch up their farm, oh. pushing up these lanes, they're afraid. There's Alex is sitting on them, and there's a boot to travel on Timber that can dodge them. Radiant no space for them to try to catch up. Radiant the Middle Tower is under we'll attack. Them to and these summits are just dying to gush. No, they're both three down. Giving so much gold up throughout yeah. the game. Juggernaut! Into this Aegis, it's so much more difficult. Tied level 18 on the front line. They're even setting the jungle illusions to try to catch the bottom wave. So we'll try to at least stop that in the meantime. Keeping Brame locked inside their base, getting no farm whatsoever. And I think yeah, Brame's got to do this. They're, they're not going to win the game waiting on the high ground. They, they've got to go for risky plays if they want a chance here in the second game. What level's the tie? Or what level's the champion? Still only 15. So not even the level three requiem. Still not gonna kill. I mean, it's not oh, gonna yeah, kill the tide under or the timber saw. They can kill the supports. They can, they can still get the jug if they can get it perfect. But he has ages. I'm a, focus a, a, has been found. I see death. Oh. Oh. Dyer are scanning. If that happens once more, it might be one of those games where they just call it. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Looking pretty Dyer's over here for Brain unless they can pull off something really spectacular. As uh, Creep Wave is getting as much as they can. Yeah, as they push the bottom. I mean, they're, they're, they're losing max. They're, they're probably going to lose a second there. Yeah, Creep Wave want to swim around to the bottom. Radiant's middle barracks. Has well, they're just going to back off and uh, look to try and fight them. Uh, they, they've decided they have much more fun getting more kills. Which is understandable, Skylark. Where are you going? Using the raw to, to help himself get away. And, uh, ooh oh My god. It's close, uh, but he does make it. So, Level 18 Timber 2. Yeah. On the way to a Lotus Orb. They're just, items are just trickling in so fast. Frame just getting absolutely nothing on the map. Which is, can't find any, they just can't find any farms. They can't, they can't peek their faces out because this next assassin is stalking. Oh, he saw a multi-shot. Run, focus. Hope your minus is up. Oh no. Shadow Fiend, the ward. They have a ward on the oh, side there. Oh no. They're actually watching Wish. They see him. Radiant or scan. Throw the scan oh. as well. Oh, he's got to do it. He's got to do it to get out. Immediately in Malreen, towards bottom. It's under a ward though. So this one looks, can they actually, are they gonna attempt to set up they for it? They have full information they, 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 that he's alone. 
Okay. If he's even if they use Requiem, if he's able to just sort of pop the active with Bloodstone, Dyer's top tower is under die. attack. It's not going to even be that close actually because he has another shot. Right? It's going to be like half his HP, if that. Yeah, Maybe not even that. Been connected to perfect. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to do his best hit. Sideways out. Shard. I'll take that as tribute. Alex is coming hunting though. He knows that Staman is going to try and stick around, and yeah, it's a, it's a good read from Alex. Timber, Timber saw bots up. They are. Oh, no. bots up. They're going to bring even more. He doesn't know. Classic oh, so he's, just, he's just trying to split push. He got the. Uh, he bought the Ag Shard, so he's just dropping the Serpent Watch with the Shackles in lane and just ether shocking. They just have to try to buy any time, any amount of time that they can. It's not like time is really going to help them in this game anyway. The Drow just will never be able to cover. But they're tempting. He did get his first time off the minus, though. Did he? The oh, Asher. Nice. Okay. There he is. Well, uh, half an hour. You know, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a long Achoo. game for folks. Slow game. It's been a long game. And so, you know, Radiant's he's already he's looking forward to game three. Tap. I mean, these, these, these are the kind of games where, you know, focus, he is going to be angry in game three. Which could oh, yeah. be definitely the brain's benefit. Radiant's you know, you get beaten down this hard in a, in a game of Dota 2, you're going to come back. All gonna go in the next game. Floor to run away. Will he make it though? The world. Get away. We also have a Basher now on ATF. So I mean, he's just he's just having a good time. Basher? Why not? I mean, you ba you, you can't bash with the anchor smash, right? Only one target, but sure, yeah. only one target. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's that'd be pretty hype if you get it on multiple. scanning. And indeed, we'll see if he's able to get some cool anchor smash RNG. Oh, they did, but uh, bash the ancient thing away now. A couple of them. I mean, if you're jumping into a few heroes, chances are you are going to bash something, right? The also is good. Come get here. Like minus 11 armor. Don't be mad. But now the minus yeah. 4 armor does now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Running away, Skylar. Skylar. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the bash. The bash. Beautiful. The anchor bash. <laughs> The yeah, anchor the bash plus the anchor in the <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Still hard. So, well, split push, but I mean, his split push and wards are actually giving 100 gold every time when they kill all four of them, too. Oh, no. Lots of gold being given. Yeah, 22k lead there. Diamond's top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom See what kind of defense they, they're going to be able to pull together. He just can't. Uh, ATF, if he sees an opportunity, he's just gonna blink ravage and they only have the one BKB, so Radiant's it's gonna hit four of them probably. Whenever ATF makes the call, click the jump button. Radiant's nice to do it. Jump him. He's got, he, do it. when Focus steps up, he's got, he waits until Skylar summons the book, and then he might do it. <laughs> More money. I mean, they're playing, they're playing this stage. You know, they are. They don't want to throw this game away. It feels pretty unthrowable. Right now. But, uh, can we, can we, pretty can we, can we, can we, this has got to be a 99. No, it's been a hundred. It's been a hundred. It's been a hundred for quite some time as well. It's been a hundred for the last seven minutes. Or maybe six minutes. Last at least five minutes. Oh, here we go. Requiem. All right, that might just do it. No. Okay. Where's your hundred percent now, Gaben? Well, there we go. Time for the comeback. It still says hundred percent. Oh, no. but it hasn't shifted. <laughs> Not this time. Not yet. I mean, they need what? Ten more of those? Maybe more? <laughs> like, to realistically actually get back in the game. Wish is at least... If he gets the Arcane Blink... ...18 and yeah. he's on his way to the Arcane Blink, so... If he, he can't get these pickoffs... If he gets the Arcane Blink... ...Abyssal... ...then maybe... Uh, they're, they're starting to split up a lot. Look, Maureen also setting up on bottom. They're already preparing. Titan is starting to oh. over. Get those raises steps up. Yeah, coming. I think he's coming. I've got the roar. Oh! Smash and a gush, and goodbye wish. Spawn. <laughs> Extremely dead here. ATF unstoppable. Uh, let's focus. Oh, they're trying to turn on to Maureen. Uh, they, they cannot hold him back. ATF in on top of focus. Five backs coming out for the two of them. 
They're gonna roar the next assassin. They might just be able to kill him here. Comes down the yours. Alex will go down. One more they can find. They also get the kill onto Fishman. Skylark trying his best to duke out the movements of Maureen. Try to the yours now. He's already got the timber chain down. ATF able to get over the wall. Skylark take out the Beastmaster. ATS have a, has a full abyssal blade coming on the courier. Oh, he does. 29 minutes and 30 minutes and let's be 30 minute build on this tide hunter. Pretty terrifying and without a doubt, definitely warranted the team bringing it in as the final pick. <laughs> yup. This will come in handy. And he also got the blessing of the orb of you know, the orb of uh, oh, yeah. destruction as well. Even more minus armor for this beefy man. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. What more? Yeah, but oh, you did the mash for me, thank you. Minus yeah. 15. <laughs> Wait, no, you did. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the talent. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of minus armor. Especially when they are... Let's see who the... Pretty who low the armor, highest right? Armor. Probably the drought. the highest armor? Yeah, drought, yeah, drought. Yeah. Drought, sorry. Drought. Yeah. When she loses the Agi, though, she'll probably be at pretty much zero armor, as well as the Shadow Phoenix top. They'll find Alex again, but the backups are coming. Um, he's gonna be able to find some mana. But a one for one trade when they're down 28k is something that they will take any time of day. Isn't it crazy how they got the same gold for the kill as well on both sides? Kill, pretty nuts. Kill bounce is pretty wild now, though. Radiance top tower is under attack. I think they use uh, the same maps as the dice roll function for the kill bounty. Maori. He's diving in. Oh, it's Skylar. He's dead. He's very dead. No buy back on him. Maori still got a little bit of his, his mana. ATF's in. Gets the kill on Focus. Focus has got a buyback. As we... Oh, he's in the BKB hole. Here we go. Red Trim onto the turn. And can they kill Maori? No, he's got the cheese. He's back up the four. No, oh, he's grabbed him by his own side. Oh, he can't get out. The Ravage is there. They'll call it now. GG. As Creepway will take this game too, and uh, my goodness, did they look good doing it? They Damn. really did. The crush range from the start. They they never recovered, uh, especially from from that bottom lane, that aggressive try lane from Creepway, just blew the game wide open for them. For